Good evening, Bios Baptist Church. Today we are going to be dealing with the life of Job. So how many of you ever felt like that you're suffering? And then how many of you come to the realization that if we just pray hard enough, that God will resolve that suffering? Amen. Now let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the time that you've given us for our pre-youth class today. Lord, have your way in this session, Lord, that you may help us to understand that no matter how much trials and tribulations that we go through, you are always there for us and that we are always to trust you. In the name of Jesus, fill us with your word and wisdom in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and for its Savior, whose kingdom it stands, one brotherhood, uniting all mankind in service and in love. Amen. Today's random proverb is going to come out of the book. Chapter 13, verse 5. A righteous man hates lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and come to shame. Amen. Now, let us begin our holy scripture. So today we're going to get a deeper understanding of who is Job? And what trials and tribulations did he go through in his life? Please stay tuned. The Lord can. Once angels came before the Lord and Satan came with them. Satan thought he was smarter than God. He wanted everybody in the world to be bad. He could not believe that people loved God and wanted to be good. The Lord told him that a man named Job was a very good man. Satan knew about Job. He lived in the land of Oz. He loved God very much, and God blessed him in his life. He had great herds of livestock, 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 donkeys, and lots more. He was the greatest man in the land of the East. Job's children loved each other and loved him. They grew up, had their own houses, but they still liked to visit Job and each other. And then here's what the devil said. Job only loves you because you have given them all these good things. If he did not have riches and family and his health, then he would curse you in your face and take you. Satan sneered to God. All right, Satan, I will show you that Job is a good man, that I, he will always try to be good answer the low Lord I will allow you to test Job then Satan caused terrible things to happen to Job a messenger came to Job and said that enemies had attacked Job's flocks and stole his oxen and donkey and killed his servants Job was just thinking about how terrible this was 
when another messenger came and said that lightning had struck to burn up all his sheep. Then another messenger came and said that more enemies had raided the camp where all Job's camels were. All the camels were gone and the servants who had been watching after them were dead. Job was very sad. All of his riches were gone. But at least he had his family. Job knew that all of his children were visiting his eldest son's house. They were all together and were safe. Or so he thought. Then a terrible thing happened. Another messenger came rushing up to Job's house with more bad news. Your son and daughter were feasting at their older, oldest brother's house when a very strong wind came up and knocked the four corners of the house. The whole house fell down and crushed everyone inside. All four of your children are dead. Job was very upset that he tore his robe, shaved his head, and fell down on the ground and began to pray. But he did not hate God like Satan said he would. He prayed to God and worshipped him. When Satan came before the Lord again, he told God the Lord that Job would curse God if he did not have his help. Satan wanted to test Job again. The Lord knew that Job would pass the test, so he allowed Satan to make Job sick. Big sore appeared all over Job's body. Even the soles of his feet and the top of his head had soles on them. The soles hurt and they itched badly. Job used bits of broken pottery to scratch his itchy soles. Even though Job hurt, he still did not curse God. Job's wife told him that he should just give up, that he should curse God and die. Job's friends came and visited him. They thought that he must have been doing bad things for all these bad things to happen to him. Job knew he always tried to do well. He told them that, but they did not believe him. Everything was going wrong. Job loved God, but he did not understand God, why he began to ask, why? Why was I ever born? Why didn't I just die when I was a baby? Why am I alive? Finally, the Lord spoke to Job. He told Job that he should always trust God, even when he did not understand God. Job learned an important lesson about God. He knew that God loved him, and now God is new. God is wiser and stronger than anything on earth. God caused all of Satan's wickedness towards Job to be stopped. He gave Job twice as much as he did before his suffering. He had other children, seven more sons, and three more daughters. Job had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 10,000 yoke of oxen, and 10,000 donkeys. Job lived to be a very old man, and he was always happy and loved and trusted the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Story, but I'm afraid it's time to go. So I'm gonna put the discussion that stands up on the board. I'm not gonna read them, they're gonna be on the board for 10 seconds at a time. You can pause the question and you can take a look at them. So as of right now, have a good day and may God bless you.